Wei Xin Shen Zhao is a 21st century new religion established in Taiwan with 7,000 years of Chinese culture, Yi Jing and Feng Shui, as its doctrinal core. Wei Xin Shen Zhao combines it with love and peace, the ideals common to all world religions. Its profound Dharma is being propagated in plain and simple language, meant to directly enter the human mind. Thus, in the arc of historical religious progress, Wei Xin Shen Zhao represents the opening of a whole new chapter. The originator of Wei Xin Shen Zhao's teaching was Wang Chan Lao Zhu, the golden transcendent of Grand Bell Heaven. He has descended into the mundane world three times via human incarnation. The first time was around 5,000 years ago when he incarnated as Wei Yuqu, the primary mentor of Shenyuan Yellow Emperor. He applied the five elements of yin and yang in Yi Jin to explore the flow of energy between the nature and human body. In doing so, he completed the first classic of traditional Chinese medicine, the Yellow Emperor's classic of internal medicine. He also invented the South Pointing Chariot to assist the Yellow Emperor in defeating Zhiyou at the Battle of Zhuo Lu. His next descent came about 2,500 years ago. At that time, he incarnated as a great thinker of the Warrior State period, named Wang Xu, also known as Gui Gu Zi. He established the first military academy of ancient China. Many famous disciples of his, such as Sun Bin, Pang Juan, Su Qing, and Zhang Yi, were trained there. His theory of vertical and horizontal alliances contributed to the unification of states previously at war with one another. He composed the classic known as Gui Gu Zi, and subsequent generations have called him the Sage of Wisdom. His third descent occurred during the late Qin Dynasty, where he incarnated as the Viceroy of Wuguang Province, Lin Zhexu, and took stand by prohibiting opium. Unintimidated by other authorities, he promoted of good practices and weeded out corruption. He advocated that China learn from the strengths of other countries in order to better compete with them. Due to this, he was later judged by many historians as the first man to have truly seen the world with open eyes. Gui Yuqu, Gui Gu Zi, and Lin Zhexu were the ancient saints whose system of thought and conduct each exerted a revolutionary impact on Chinese history. Now, through the great compassion of Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, Wang Chan Lao Zhu has steered his vessel of compassion back into the mundane world by manifesting in the pure land of Taiwan to accomplish his core vow of world peace. This is a great blessing for all the heir of Chinese cultural heritage and a great blessing for all the humanity as well. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chen Shi's secular name is Zhang Yi Rui. He was born into a farming family in Zhongliao Township in Nantou County, and from his childhood onwards, he helped his parents till the fields. With a simple, honest, and hardworking personality, he emerged later in life as a talented young man with great vision and he founded the first Taiwanese surveying company at the mere age of 25. This company was named Zhongxin Surveying Company, and due to the sincerity of its management and the diligence of its workers, it earned an excellent reputation in the field of surveying. Unfortunately, all worldly matters and even life itself are impermanent. In 1982, Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi suddenly fell ill due to acute renal failure that did not improve despite numerous medical interventions. On the brink of life and death, he made a recovery under the compassionate guidance of Taiwan Zhu Shi and Guan Yin Bodhisattva, who led him to practice self-cultivation by reciting homage to Amitabha Buddha. He fully vowed that, if he recovered from this illness, he would give up his business and devote himself entirely to practicing the Bodhisattva path. Once this vow was made at Da Shi Dian Temple in Tainan, on June 19th of the Chinese Lunar Calendar, the sacred spirit of Wang Chan Lao Zhu radiantly descended to integrate with Zhang Yi Rui as one. Following this, his kidney illness spontaneous healed and this became the watershed moment of his life. He kept his word by holding all worldly pursuits of fame and wealth, and thereby started his practice to offer aid to all through the wondrous dhammas of Yi Jing and Feng Shui. He did this to reciprocate the kindness of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Hence, heaven conferred the Dharma name Hun Yuan upon him.
past 36 years, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi has never stopped verifying, practicing, and promoting Tao through religion and education. He adheres to religious practices for disaster elimination and edifies others towards spiritual enlightenment. These efforts have led to the success presently enjoyed by Wei Xin Shen Zhao and also the establishment of Yijin University's unique system of education. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi interprets the wondrous dhammas of Yijin and Feng Shui through simple language easily comprehended by modern society. By offering Yijin classes everywhere in Taiwan, these dhammas have garnered wider support and have become a trend wherein everyone now wishes to learn Yijin. Many of Wei Xin Shen Zhao's talented virtuous fellows have been cultivated into masters and lecturers who collectively promote these wondrous dhammas to achieve the goals of cultivating great talents, educating the global citizenry in virtue, elevating the determination of all beings, and finally, bringing great peace onto the world. In 2003, in accordance with Wang Chan Lao Zhu's sacred instruction, precise specification regarding participants, time, and location, together with Wei Xin Shen Zhao's cultivation power of sentient beings through our ten directions, were collectively organized to hold a large-scale ancestral rite capable of resolving the 5,000 years of grievances and amities that have affected all Chinese ethnic groups. Therefore, from January 1, 2004, Wei Xin Shen Zhao began hosting the Chinese United Ancestors Worship Ceremony at Taipei Linko Stadium. Around 36,000 descendants of the three Chinese ancestors gathered for the ceremony, where they piously made offerings of incense, flowers, flute, delicacies, songs, and dances to their ancestors to express their peace-loving voice as the heirs of Chinese cultural heritage. At present, 13 altars have been completed. During the ceremony, the true meaning behind the mean spirits returning to the heart and the world as one family was revealed to be the common will of all heirs of Chinese cultural heritage throughout the world. To promote Chinese cultural orthodoxy, Yijin can be applied towards the prediction and prevention of disasters. Feng Shui can be used for geomantic protection by balancing the magnetic field affecting various spaces. And religious rites and practices can be further adapted to resolve grievances of the spirits. All this can be done to attain harmony among heaven, earth, and humanity. This transcends conventional views and thought regarding three-dimensional space. And this is the way that Wei Xin Shen Zhao protects the earth, as well as the way Wei Xin Shen Zhao achieves its religious providence. In 2015, a book titled The Documentary of Disaster Elimination of Wei Xin Shen Zhao precisely recorded the means by which Wei Xin Shen Zhao utilized religious rites to dispel the SARS and the bird flu epidemics, repair damage affecting the ozone layer, quail volcanic unrest affecting both Mount Fuji in Japan as well as Yellowstone National Park in America, prevent further damage from the giant sinkholes and the calamities caused by the Ebola virus, and eliminate human catastrophes such as famine and war. These miracles are fruits born of Wang Chan Lao Zhu's great vows, and also examples of him granting the prayers of devotees after guiding them to collectively chant sutras as a method to completely dispel each calamity. In 2016, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi followed a heavily mandate to start the construction project of a 25-meter-high golden hue mega icon of Wang Chan Lao Zhu at Wei Xin Shen Zhao's main altar, Ba Gua Holy City. Altogether, the golden hue mega icon, heavenly hot pond, southern heaven gate, nine dragons wall, and the campus of Wei Xin Shen Zhao College form a magnificent building complex. 
the Kangudi ceremony was held on the Dragon Ball Festival of 2018. Grandmaster Huang Yuan Chan Shi personally consecrated the mega icon and piously invited Holy Spirits to radiant descend to the world. Everyone is welcome to pray for blessings here or simply enjoy the majestic virtue of Wang Chan Lao Zhu. It's also a chance to experience the value of coexistence of folk religions in Taiwan. This golden hue mega icon is a physical expression of Grandmaster Huang Yuan Chan Shi's praise for the majestic virtue of Wang Chan Lao Zhu. It inspires all disciples to cultivate themselves for the benefit of the nation and humanity, and to accomplish the 48 great vows of Wei Xin Shen Zhao's great Dharma wheel. In 2012, Grandmaster Huang Yuan Chan Shi being nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize proved that his Dharma gate of Yi Jin Feng Shui and religion had emerged as the one true way to achieve world peace. His 36 years period of practices and achievements have all been recorded, transformed into words, and collected in the Weixin Canon archive within the Weixin Museum. This canon will become a storehouse of wisdom that enables world peace in the future. Grandmaster Huang Yuan Chan Shi has offered this precious treasure to the ten directions of the Dharma realm to make harmonize the Weixin Pure Land with the Pure Land of Ultimate Please. Wei Xin Shen Zhao's Koval will be completed when great peace has been secured under heaven and world peace fully blossoms.